chicken entry for the afternoon. Um, I want to first start out by commending every one of these cooks. I mean, this was by far the best plate of chicken I've had this year. Um, number one was fantastic, had a great blend of um, sweet and uh, sweet and heat. Uh, the flavor profile was perfect. Um, I had a um, number two was was just it was dead on, and the one thing I liked about number two is they put white meat in there, and I really love that, and they got it right. That's great. Uh, as you can tell, it's missing, so I ate it all. Um, number three was really good. Um, the flavor wasn't as good as the rest. Um, number five was, I mean, number four was uh, just a little bit on the dry side, but other than that, it was a great piece of chicken. But number Number five was fantastic. I mean, it was the the, the uh, it was right on with the tenderness and the flavor profiles were great. So that's that's my opinion of the the chicken category. Okay. I agree that all four, five entries were very good, um, better than most contests I've been to. Is that recording? Okay. Uh, number one, flavor profile was good. Hit a little bit of stringiness. Um, other than that, it was a good, good entry. Number two, really, probably was the best flavor po profile of all of them. Um, and it wasn't just the sauce. It was even the second bite. When you went beyond the sauce, you still had the flavor. Number three, a bit bland. Um, not sure why, just didn't have the pop that you, you'd expect. Number four is right up there with number two in the sense that the pr flavor profile was the best. That one and that one, two and four were the best f flavor profiles. This was a little bit dry, just a little, borderline. This one, um, I felt that I was tasting mostly sauce. And when I got the second bite beyond the sauce, I didn't really get a lot there. So uh, bottom line, the second one and the fourth one were the tops. This is my fourth competition, and so far this is the best chicken plate I've had. I enjoyed numbers one and four the best. Number one was almost perfect for me and for my taste. Two and three are the two that I question the most, but they were all very good. I commend the judges on all the chicken for tenderness and taste. Num actually, number one and number two I like best. And, excuse me, number one, number four. And number two and three I question, but overall they were all very good. 
the chicken entry was beautiful as far as appearance goes. Number three was the worst. It had like it was undercooked, uh, raw, almost skin. And number five was the best overall. Had a great flavor and tenderness and juiciness in the chicken. Yeah, I would agree. All of these had beautiful appearance. Um, number one and number five were the best overall for me. Both had outstanding balanced flavor. Uh, number three was the only one that had a little bit of issue on the taste and tenderness. The skin was not quite right and it was definitely a little undercooked by the uh, inside the meat. Rib five, number one and five were both very good. Preferred five. Rib four, a little bit cheerier than maybe what I expected. Uh, my favorite was definitely number one. Uh, my least favorite was number four. Uh, number one, I believe, was cooked perfectly and had an excellent sauce that wasn't overdone. Uh, number four was my least favorite because I felt it was uh, undercooked. It was very tough, and I thought the sauce was overpoweringly sweet. Uh, number two, I thought, tasted good, but it was overpowered with the sauce, too much sauce on that. Uh, number three, I thought, was a very fatty piece of meat, and that's therefore I didn't like that one the best. And number five, I thought was overcooked. It was mushy in my mouth. I really like the flavor of number five, but it was overcooked. Uh, number one was very good as well. I think number three was just a bad cut, um, had an undercurrent of a bitter taste that I couldn't determine what it was. Uh, number one and two, uh, both were good. Number one <clears throat> was my favorite. The sauce was good. It had a nice uh, heat at the end. Uh, my least favorite were three and four. I think three overdone and four underdone, a little bit tough. I think one and two were pretty good, too, and the sauce had a, a lot of honey in it. Uh, one was just a tad on the dry side for the rib that I got. Uh, I think uh, number three was probably the worst. It, it was pretty fatty and uh, had kind of a strong peppery flavor to it and uh, a little on the mushy side as well. I thought four had a real good flavor, but it was very underdone, had quite a bit of chew to it. Uh, number five was a little on the overdone side. It was okay, a little, a little salty. I like number one the best. It had really good flavor. Number five, it was just, it had good flavor, but it was a little overdone.
to taste the smoke um, and I don't get that very often so it was tender they nailed the uh, cook time uh, because I thought it was moist and yet it was not mushy um, number two was was a decent cook on that also most of these had uh, great timing uh, as far as the cook temperature and everything number three uh, was only money muscle uh, but it was uh, a little bit of gristle uh, where they cut the money muscle uh, so uh, did not score it really high uh, then uh, number uh, five I guess was was really good uh, it had a good flavor to it and uh, then the last uh, well, the la uh, number four was. The last one, number five, um, was uh, a decent also. All around, a, a good round of Boston uh, bud or pork shoulder and pulled pork. So uh, good job to all the cooks. Okay, well, uh, all in all, this was a good round for uh, all the entries here. Uh, I particularly liked... Uh, uh, a couple of them. Number one was uh, very flavorful, uh, nice and tender. Uh, there was uh, all of them cooked, uh, everything nice and tender. Uh, number three and number five were also uh, a couple of my favorites here. Uh, the other ones, uh, there was some that had uh, some gristle in there that uh, I have to echo on uh, the previous comments. But um, overall, it was a good uh, showing here. Nice and tender pieces of meat uh, with the pulled pork and uh, the muscle meat, and uh, very flavorful. Thanks. I thought the first three were all fairly comparable. Um, out of the three, however, the actually the third one was my favorite. I was a little surprised there was no pulled pork in there, um, which I was sort of concerned, but. Um, even the, the bark was extremely tender, had great flavor. The money muscle meat had good flavor. Um, I favored that uh, slightly over the first one, which the pulled pork in that was extremely good. Uh, but the money muscle and the bark for me on number three carried the day. Um, my least favorite was the fourth one. The, there was a, I'm a, almost a fistful of fat in the money muscle piece that I had and uh, apparently they weren't successful in getting the fat to render out during the cook. But all in all, a, a pretty good, pretty solid round of uh, pork butt. I think they were all pretty good. Um, number two was my favorite taste-wise, just needed to be just a tad more tender. Um, the flavor profile was definitely there and I liked it the best. Um, the other entries were good. All of them were tender and had that taste. Some of them had just a little bite, which is good on the end. Um, all in all, it was good. <laughs>all right number three was uh, two, 227 was probably my favorite that one had um, it had good tenderness um, had a good smoky kind of uh, flavor as well as the burn ends were done well um, the next one number 223 was my least favorite um, an off flavor and the consistency was just a little it was a little too tough We had some excellent uh, brisket today. I think that uh, 227 was my favorite. Has a very good flavor, very beefy, not too salty. Had a very good texture to it. Uh, 229 was probably my least favorite. It had a, a heavy streak of fat through the middle. The texture was a little difficult, but uh, we had some excellent brisket today.
my favorite was 227. Uh, excellent flavor. Uh, the burnt end was perfect. Uh, I would have liked it perhaps a little smaller for my taste, but it was very, very good. Uh, my least favorite was 229. I think the burnt end let it down. Um, a little too fatty, and I think there was, uh, in for me, uh, not as much flavor as I would have expected. Uh, Sam's always attracts the better team, so the brisket entrees were reflective of that. All of them were uh, very good. A couple of the teams took advantage of the burn ins uh, to their advantage, but uh, overall, it was very good brisket. Uh, there were some strong entries here. I, the one that I liked the best had an excellent tasting burn in, good moisture, really tender, good flavor. Um, there were a couple that they were a little dry, a little cold, a little too much pepper, but overall, all good entries. Uh, like I said, all in all, like she said, all of them were great entries. Uh, there was one gentleman that put burn ins in. If he had left them out, it would have been a much better presentation. Yeah. A lot of teams need to learn, if you're out there watching this, you don't have to put burn-ins in. It's not required. If they're good, great. If not, don't put them in there.